I made $100,000 taking pictures while being a full-time university student. And in this video, I wanna show you what I did and how you can do even better than me. All you need to do is to execute what I'm going to say. But first, let me tell you this. If you're a student, you're never gonna have as much free time as now. And the best bit is that right now, it's the easiest time because there's money literally everywhere. What? No, they do not grow on plants, but let me explain. It's really important to understand that the peer we live in is actually a true gold mine. None of our parents have had these resources when they were our age. And I feel that anyone can really make it happen if you really want to. So here is my little story. I come from a middle class family and I lived my entire life in a small village in the north of Italy. And I didn't know that it would be actually possible to do what I love on a daily basis. Usually you just focus on your studies and once you're finished, you find a job, whatever that is, and you stick with it until you retire. But my path was different. And I hope what happened to me can really inspire you and help you build your dream life. Yes, after high school, I started university, but I dropped out after I think three months or so. But this was only the first time uh, I tried to get a degree, so keep watching. I was trying to be a model, so I moved to a different city and I tried to work my way up to this incredibly difficult world. And it didn't work. I was a complete failure as a model. I was not booking any job and I had to start working in a restaurant in order to pay the rent only. I was living in a tiny one bedroom flat and I was sharing the room with a stranger. Living under minimum wage in an expensive city, let's say was not ideal, but it was key. Being a model actually allowed me to travel for free, which is not really free, but this story is for another video. So my agency sent me to Hong Kong and here's where the magic happened. For little to no money in my pocket, I had to find a job. So I started working in a gym as a personal trainer. And funny enough, because I actually kept that job for about three years. In my free time, I was enjoying my time in the city, just going for hikes, exploring different neighborhoods, and so on and so forth. And most importantly, I was filming my adventures just using my iPhone 7 and a drone. In the evenings, I started editing some random videos, which I posted on Facebook. I posted one video. Then another one. Then another one. Then another one. Then I received this message. Hey Simon, I saw your videos. They are amazing. I got a restaurant and I wanted to get some content to post on social media. Do you want to help me? Oh yeah, sure. I'll do it for free. One week later. Hi Simone, nice stuff on Facebook. I need to shoot some videos in my new gym and I love your style. You wanna help? It's time to make some money. In my free time, I kept doing some photography jobs. I was making some money and I was pretty damn happy. But all of a sudden, something happened. These are traumatic days for the people of Hong Kong. And I don't want Hong Kong to become just like another city of China. I had to abandon Hong Kong and I decided to start from zero in London. I enrolled for a full-time three years degree at Queen and Mary University. Initially, I thought that it would have been best to focus just on studying. But when I saw how much free time I had, I needed to do something. A few months into the first year while being angry with my girlfriend because she downloaded and started watching this weird app called TikTok, I noticed that a photographer that I was following on Instagram grew from like 10 to 15k followers in a matter of days. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe I should try this. I started planning my day around my lectures to have at least two to three hours a day to create as many TikToks as possible. Share what I knew about photography and content creation in general. I gave myself a non-negotiable time. For three months, you're gonna post three videos a day, no matter what. Only then you'll be able to choose whether it's worth keeping going or not. Yes, sir. Day, weeks, month passed by, but I didn't see any result. Until one video got 10K views. Then another one got 20k views. Then another one got 70k views. Then... One went viral. It was my 224th video. And I grew 80k in a few days. 
Oh yes, baby. I reduced the frequency of making videos, but I never stopped. Opportunities started to come. I started receiving free products, but not much that could actually pay the bills. So I started contacting other creators as well, and I tried to meet up with them to talk about their experiences, struggles, and learnings that could have helped me move forward in my creator journey. With time, I understood that if you make a client happy, they would return to you with an even bigger budget. And my channels were actually the first point of content for new clients. So I took care of them and kept working nonstop to showcase to the world what I was capable of. I understood that clients were attracted by what they see. So in order to have the highest chances of success, I needed to keep posting content that would reflect my capabilities. I was a photographer, videographer, and I knew how to make impactful short videos. So I used my skills to keep pitching for bigger budget and hell yeah, it paid off. So I knew that university was important as a plan B, but keeping up with my content was incredibly time consuming. I was about to drop out again in my third year, but I decided to keep going and study the bare minimum just to get a decent grade. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I had some really, really tough days. Studying and working for 16 hours a day. But at the end of the day, it was worth With it. first class honors, Simone Ferretti. I graduated with first class honors in July 2022 and by then I had already made $70,000 in 7 months and, and honestly it's just mind blowing for me to think about that. By then I knew that I would have reached the 6 figure mark by the end of the year and it was really incredible. So here's the 5 most important things that you need to understand if you want to make a lot of money while you're being a student. Uh, first one, subscribe and hit the like button, it's super important. <laughs> I'm kidding. Actually, no, I'm not kidding. Just do it because it helps me a lot and it's free. All right, uh, first one, create stuff. Whatever you want, website, ads, photos, art, anything that you want, but show it to the world, leveraging social media as much as possible. It's the best, easiest way to find clients and build an audience, or maybe both. And by no mean, I'm saying that this is easy. I'm just saying that everything else is more difficult. Like even another friend of mine built a wedding photography business doing uni and she's killing it right now with just 2k followers, completely booked out for the whole year. Growing an audience is just a plus. Social media work also as a portfolio on their own. Offer yourself for free at first. You'll be able to grow your portfolio and especially confidence. Then you can pitch clients or even transform those first ones into paying customers. Next one, network is key. People tend to call the same people back. So always make sure to keep the client happy even if you're working for free at the beginning. Then, very important, try to outwork everyone else. If you want to be better than everybody else, probably you need to do more than everybody else. Especially in uni, most of the students are incredibly lazy and they just study the bare minimum and think about partying or doing crazy stuff all the time. You can party, obviously, I'm not saying you don't have to, but also try to dedicate a lot of time to your future. This time is the best time ever you can ever have. And in case you don't have many ideas, here's a bunch of side hustle you can start if you enjoy photography. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.